So we've got our three content pages. We're going to have three tabs, and then we've got our index page. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make the content for the three tabs. Uh, basically, I'm just going to paste this content in here. It's just a uh, it's an H3 tag with a P tag, and it says this is loaded content one, right? So there's content one. This is content two, and then content three. Uh, soft wrapped content three. Okay, and now let's take a look at index. So the first thing I know we'll need is we need our head. We're going to have a UL, right? And this is going to be tab one. And these are clickable, right? So we'll actually make these A tags. And then each tab, so we're going to have, so that's one tab, uh, two tabs, three tabs. Now one thing we need to do here is we're going to link these. So we're going to name these pound so that uh, if, if you don't put anything, then it'll be a website not found. So if we put a pound sign, it'll, it'll look for an anchor. Okay. So we're going to give anchor uh, content one. We're going to match the content name there. This is going to be uh, hash content three, I'm sorry, two, and then hash content, content three. Okay. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to have is the, the, um, so we're going to have content wrapper here. It's going to be a, just a div. This is an ID, by the way. So we're going to make a content wrapper, so a wrapper box for the content that we're going to load in. And then we need the actual box that we're going to load content into. So div ID equals content. So this is going to where the, this is what the new content is going to load into. And this is going to be a wrapper around it. Okay. So now, um, I know we're going to need, uh, let, well, let's look at this first and then we'll style it. Okay. So we've got tab one, two, three, and then we've got our div. Okay. So let's, um, let's go ahead and do some style here. So we're going to open Firebug and let's, uh, increase that and go to CSS and then go to edit. Okay. So now we can edit. Okay. So let's, um, let's style the UL first. So we'll do UL. Uh, which will have we're gonna margin uh, zero pixels for that um, padding zero pixels and overflow hidden. The reason we're doing overflow hidden is because each li is going to be floated. And if you watched my earlier tutorial, you know that when you float elements, the parent element needs to be overflow hidden or auto. So that means that each li is float left, right? And then we need each li to have um, list style none. And then we want to have uh, each li to have a padding. Uh, let, let me give myself some more room here. To have a padding of uh, about 10 pixels. And you can't see that, so let's get a background color. Background color. And we're going to do a nice gray. And then we want uh, a border, border one pixel solid, and then a light, and then a light gray. So C's, okay. And then th those blues look terrible. So L I A, we want to be color white, uh, font family Arial, and then text decoration none. Text decoration none. Hey, oh, need a semicolon there. Okay, so there's our tabs. They look nice. Uh, now our content wrapper. Okay, uh, which is our pound content wrapper. Right. So let's give that a width and a height. So we're gonna get width 400 pixels, height 400 pixels, or sorry, 300 pixels. And you can't see it yet. So uh, let's give it a background color. Background color. Cool. Okay. Uh, now you see that uh, the gray is inside of itself like that. So let's give this a margin zero pixels and a padding six pixels for the content. And we'll give that an overflow hidden as well. Okay. So that's what we have now. Um, we need. So let's let's copy that. And put that in here for now. Save. And I'm going to stop coding like that because it's annoying. So.
that's why. So the reason that's happening is because I spelled overflow wrong. See, this is what happens when you don't have uh, overflow set. Okay. Now uh, our div content wrapper uh, is needing to be on a new line. So we need to put that. So okay, so this is the problem right here. It's not actually closed in the UL, so we need to actually close that UL. There we go. Okay, so now we've kind of got tabs going. Okay, so now uh, and when you click them, uh, you see the URL is changing. Not that one, two, three. Okay, so now let's do some JavaScript. All right, script. Well, actually, first thing we need to do is we need uh, our jQuery like that, and then we're gonna do script, script. Okay, and now we'll put everything inside of a function, which is jQuery on ready, and we want to catch all the tabs. So we're gonna we're gonna actually call this UL tabs, right? Tabs. So we'll refer to that up here, pound tabs, and then we want every a tag inside of that, right? And we want to catch a click on that. Okay. So now we've clicked every one, and let's just console dot log uh, this dot hash. And see what that gives me. So refresh, view, firebug, go to our console, refresh. Okay, so tab one, content one, boom, boom. Okay, now <clears throat> because we laid these, these are these don't have the hash symbol in them. So we actually want to say uh, var page equals this dot hash, right dot substring, uh, substring one. And now let's look at console dot log page, right refresh. Right, so now we've gotten rid of that hash, which is great. So all we need to do is do our post. So we're going to do .get, because we don't need to set any variables. Um, and we're going to do .get on uh, the page, so that. And then we want to add the .php to it, right? So plus .php. And then uh, that's going to be a function. And we're expecting back that HTML, just like that. OK, so console.log uh, HTML. So let's see what the HTML looks like. Refresh. Okay, so there's the HTML. Okay, very cool. So now we just need to replace the content. So pound content, which is the div that we made for that, that HTML is that HTML, right? This. So let's call this got HTML. Got HTML, just so you don't get confused. And tab one, boom, there you go. Okay, looks nice. So uh, that's loaded content via Ajax. So we actually, uh, let's content content we want uh font family Arial just to make it a little bit nicer. Cool. Okay. The other thing is we need to return false here because if we were further down the page it would jump. Okay. So let's uh after here we're gonna return false, which isn't gonna affect anything. It's just going to make it nicer. Okay. Now how do you how do you know this is actually happening? And what if it's slow? So let's actually make it slow. So content two, let's put a uh a PHP and let's sleep for two seconds, like right there, and then we're gonna say echo, echo high, just to prove that PHP is working, and that this script's gonna take two seconds to do. So two, okay. See how it waits two seconds? If your page takes a long time, that might actually happen to you. So the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna use Block UI. So I'm actually gonna include this script here, just Google Block UI for it, which is gonna block an interface. So before we do the AJAX, which is right here, we're gonna just grab the element that we want to block, which would be the content wrapper. Right, oops. Content wrapper, and we're just gonna say dot block, and then once we're done AJAX, so inside of here, we're gonna say pound content wrapper dot unblock. So what that does is now when I click on tab one, it waits for a second. Now tab two, please wait as it's loading the content, and now the content two loaded. Okay, so these are quick because there's really nothing in there. But if your page is long loading, then you've blocked out your UI as your Ajax content has loaded in there. Okay, so you can do some other stuff too. Like say we wanna we wanna clear out the HTML before you do that before you do the block. So you could say, uh, you know, pound content dot HTML, uh, you know, is blank. So it's gonna blank. So it's gonna blank out the content before it does it. See that? Please wait. Okay. So there's a really quick way to do Ajax with tabs.